Greetings to the global Every Nation Church family. Welcome to the final day of the fast. Congratulations on making it this far. I hope that this prayer and fasting experience has been a blessing to you as it has been for me. Now that we're ending the prayer and fasting, there's a challenge we have to face. The devotional for today comes from 1 Peter 4, verse 12 until 13. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice insofar as you share Christ's sufferings, that you may also rejoice and be glad when His glory is revealed. The title for today's devotion is The Crucible of Holiness. A crucible is a container used to melt metals at an extremely high temperature, up to 1300 degrees Celsius or 2500 degrees Fahrenheit for my American friends. It purifies the metal by burning away the impurities. Our calling as Christians is to go through the crucible, the fiery trial, as we follow Christ. Peter says, do not be surprised at the fiery trial. He's telling his readers that the fires of life are inevitable. Suffering is inevitable. Some may suffer as a consequence of their actions. Others suffer as a consequence of other people's actions. As we read on in the few verses ahead, we understand that Peter is talking about suffering that is caused by our faith in Christ. Undeserved, unfair, yet inevitable. Our natural tendency as humans is to avoid suffering. We hate pain. Yet Peter is saying that we shouldn't be surprised if we face suffering as followers of Christ. It's nothing strange. Moreover, Peter is not only saying that we should expect suffering, he says that we should rejoice in suffering. Can you imagine, how can you rejoice in pain? As we suffer as Christians, we are sharing in Christ's suffering at the cross. Peter says that this is a source of joy. It's because in Christ, suffering becomes a means to an end. It becomes a pathway to the revelation of God's glory. When we take suffering out of the equation of a Christian, we are left with impurities and defects. When we take Christ out of the equation of suffering, we take away the hope and joy, leaving only the pain. Our calling is to embrace the crucible, rejoice in suffering, and find God's glory in the midst of it. Now, as we conclude this prayer and fasting, let us remember that this is our calling. Our calling is to follow Christ even through the fiery trials. Jesus suffered and died to take away the sting of suffering. On that cross, Jesus broke the power of death so that we have nothing to fear when we suffer for His sake. I remember being backstage in ENC Philippines Unashamed Campus Conference back in 2017. We were in a huddle to brief about the next session where we would invite everyone to pray for countries where Christians are being persecuted. One pastor from one of these nations spoke up and said something that I would never forget. He said, please don't pray that our persecution will stop. Pray that through our suffering, Christ's name will be glorified. This is the reason for joy. Jesus suffered and died so that we can suffer yet live. As we share and partake in his suffering, brothers and sisters, know that we are sharing and partaking in his resurrection. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for my brothers and sisters all around the world. Lord, you see their sufferings. You see the fiery trials that they have to go through. But we believe, Lord, that you're using this as a crucible of holiness. I pray that as we go through the suffering, Lord, teach us to rejoice and teach us, Lord, to glorify your name through our suffering. This is our prayer, Lord, and we dedicate this time to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you.